Congratulations again. Thanks. Take care. Hey. Sam, the master just paid you a pretty big compliment. What was it like going head to head oh, man. with Jeff Kabush for the last two or three laps? It was awesome, you know. I can't, Do you think like, you were in a dream or what? Yeah, it was. Uh, I mean, I was like, I'm not even, I'm not even that redlined, you know. I was, I was obviously working hard and uh, like sitting on his wheel, you know, I was pretty comfortable and, uh, you know, I was like, man, this guy just won a World Cup two weekends ago and uh, riding right with him and, you know. I knew that he would have a hell of a sprint coming through that finish, and he he definitely did. But uh, it was super fun racing with him. I was psyched to be up there. You know, I was standing with John Rourke, your team manager, during that race, and I said to John, "This kid better not fade today. This this is his day." And John says, "He knows this. He's got to do it today." Uh, yeah. Did you feel like uh, you know this whole summer that you had a shot at knocking off one of these uh, well, or what? Yeah, I mean that's the thing. Like especially. The problem was after Bromont, you know, I felt it was one of those days where, you know, not only is my fitness coming around right now, but just one of those few days where it's just like you feel that much better on top of it. You know, your fitness is good, but then you just have like a few days where it's like you're just feeling amazing. And Bromont was one of those days. And ever since that, you know, like the last two weekends in the cross countries, I've been I think just trying to force a little bit too much, you know, like, like I know I can be up there. I'm going to make myself up there. And, uh, Instead of just like, you know, letting it happen and embracing the suffering, I was like, I don't want to suffer, I just want to be in the front. And you know, not that I wasn't suffering, but it was just I had the wrong mindset. And uh, I think I kind of got back to just, you know, letting it happen a little bit more. And you know, you're probably not even aware of this, but you did win the Most Aggressive Rider Ooh, Award today. Bonus. So you get the check. And right on. Looks like you'll be buying dinner tonight. Heck yeah. I, I just, I'm trying to ask everybody, you know, obviously racing this year was was not guaranteed that we were going to have a national series and uh, we sort of made short track happen. Is short track something that you'd like to see part of your future? Uh, yeah. Is, I does, mean, it, does it add to the sport and I think how do you feel about it? I think it's a great event. You know, it's, it's good going, you know, we travel so much that it's like, you know, you might as well come yeah. in and squeeze two races into a weekend. So, you know, it's not like just all, all your eggs in one basket, you know? So I'm definitely... Right. Big fan of it. the only. I guess like the only argument I've heard against it that makes any sense is, you know, just the infrastructure, the extra manpower and uh, venue space that it takes to run it. You know, if it gets in the way with amateur races, that's like the only downside. But I think it's there should be definitely a way to schedule it where it doesn't conflict. And because uh, it's a short enough event, and I'm a big fan. You know, I say I say stick with it. It's, yeah, I, you know, I don't think it's a, a huge stress for the for the organizers, but. You know, I think everybody's come to the opinion that we do need to run it on Sunday instead of Saturday. Yeah. Because there's people that were saving their legs that didn't race at all. Right. So now that it's on Sunday. Yeah, I'm uh, a huge fan of it. Yeah. I almost think it, you know, it makes me pay more attention to recovering really well after the cross country instead of, you know, just letting it loose for. And it almost, I think I actually come out of the weekend feeling almost better from it, you know? Like I'm less. It's, it's almost like you did some training rather than just a, exactly. ra just a I, race. Yeah, and I think. Especially when you have back-to-back -back races, it just like having a, a couple days of racing just fills the time a lot better. And I mean, that's what we do, you know, that's what we like to do. Now, set, set the record straight. It seems to me you want a short track, what, at Sea Otter? Yeah. It, what, what is your short track win record? Because I really forget. That's the only... Uh, that's the other one. It's the only win. All right. Well, so, may, I mean, may there be many more. Well, thanks. All right. Congratulations. All right. And you buying Andy dinner tonight? Uh, yeah. All right. I'm in. What's that? No. No, I'm uh, I'm actually using that.